The day was July 24, 2020 at 8.32 a.m. when Ron Swanson was eating his favorite breakfast when he immediately turned purple and started choking. They called the ambulance and rushed him to the hospital and they discovered that his eggs had been poisoned. Luckily, when police arrived, they found a bottle of poison that the perpetrator had conveniently left a little bit of saliva on. They rushed the sample to the lab to perform a DNA fingerprint analysis. Let's look at the suspects. Ben Wyatt, Donna Meagle, Leslie Nope, and her mother, Marlene Griggs Nope, are all city employees that had been in the break room that very morning. Police took a sample of DNA from each of the suspects as well as the victim and performed a gel electrophoresis. The first step was to isolate and amplify the DNA fragments. These DNA fragments were then placed into a well on an agarose gel, which is attached to an electrical current, one with a positive end and a negative end. Since DNA is negatively charged, the DNA migrates towards the positive end with shorter fragments moving faster than longer fragments. This produces DNA banding that can be seen as provided. Let's take a look at our two different loci. For loci one, here we can see the sample matches perfectly with Leslie and Donna at both alleles. Only when there's a complete match at every allele can the DNA belong to the sample. We can also see that Leslie and Marlene have demonstrated maternity because they match at one allele. Therefore, we would say that Ben, Marlene, and Ron are excluded, whereas Leslie and Donna must remain suspects. Let's take a look at our next loci. So here, we find that a full match at each loci, at each allele, exists for Leslie and Ron. Again, we can see that Marlene and Leslie are related because one of their alleles matches. Therefore, Ben, Marlene, and Donna, who are not a complete match, fall out of our suspect list, and Leslie and Ron remain in suspicion. However, when we combine all of our results, we find that only Leslie is a full match at both, Lesli, at both loci. Therefore, she is guilty.